You got me? You record? All right, we're good. All right, so here we got a bunch of different connections for the ice machine. We have just about every possible connection that you can have. Normally, you wouldn't see these different, all these different type of connections in one system. They would choose to maybe just all solder, all compression fitting, uh, or uh, we can even use a flare fitting. So right here, we've soldered the joints, and then they have a flange connection to our backflow preventer. And then we're going to add this compression fitting on the 3 8 pipe here. So the compression fitting has a nut, has a sleeve, and then it has the body that's on already installed on the backflow preventer. So we slide the nut over like this, and then the sleeve, and then we can insert it and start to thread it by hand. It should be about seven turns. And then we'll have to take the wrench, usually by hand for the first couple, and then the adjustable for the last several turns. Tighten it up. What's going to happen is the pressure from the nut pushing in is going to cause that ferrule, the sleeve, to crimp around the copper tubing, allowing for a tight seal. The cut on the edge of the tubing should be square with no burrs. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up and then I'm going to loosen it back up to show you how it locks in because the sleeve's a one-time use. And I might go one more. If you tighten the nut too tight, it can crack it. That brass nut will crack. If it's too loose, it'll allow a small drip to come out of there. All right. Now let me go ahead and remove it and show you what happens to the sleeve when it's compressed. So again, I'll probably need the wrench for the first couple passes on the threads, and then I should be able to do it with my hands. Right. And then if I pull this nut down, you should be able to see see the crimping action of the sleeve pushed around. That crimping, because it's sandwiching down between the nut and the body, will allow for a tight compression seal. And these are generally good for quick water line connections for ice machines, water filters, things where you have to remove something later on. So that one's set. Another type of fitting that we can use is the flared connection. Not no, we don't want to tighten it yet because I just want to show the flared connection, just the 45 degree with the flare nut and the soft copper tubing. So you can see that down there. They got a pretty good flare on that and that's going to line right up to our flared elbow to male pipe thread fitting. And we'll tighten that up. And then the last connection that we have here is the PEX, the plastic tubing. And that's just like a shark bite quick connect fitting. It just uses, it's got to be a square cut. Once it's pushed down, it locks in to remove it. This is the easiest of the connections to assemble and disassemble. So that's the one we're using for the last one, and that's it. Those are all the connections for the ice machines.